Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. I think I'm appropriately dressed for the occasion. That is, I'm going to be talking a little bit about recreations for people who like to do things by themselves, uh, of which I will plead guilty. Although I am married and enjoy being with my wife, I certainly enjoy spending a lot of my recreational time by myself. <clears throat> and here are a few of the things that I do and why, and maybe somewhere in that buffet of options you'll find something that you maybe um, had forgotten about doing or never thought of doing. In any event, there we go. Uh, here we go. So um, um, I just came in from the garden. My hands probably still have some stuff on it. Um, I do like gardening. It's good physical exercise. Uh, it gets my dog out in the backyard with me. And uh, it, um, it really does allow one to see the miracle of growth. It's amazing what can happen from a seed to a full plant. In the case of tomatoes, remarkable uh, that in two months or three months you get uh, delicious tasting uh, um, items that you can't get in the store. And they, they're dirt cheap. No matter how low income you are, um, you can buy my favorite tomato variety, something called Orange Peruche, P-A-R-U-C-H-E. And you can get, uh, you know, I don't know, 25 of them for five bucks, including the shipping. So that's 20 cents a plant. Um, it's remarkable. Yeah, we'll have plenty of you grow them from seed in a little inexpensive uh, uh, little seed tray, and you can put a little plastic over it or buy one of those ready-made ones you can get at a big box store for seed starting. And uh, you'll have more than enough to give to your friends, and it's a lovely thing to give to friends because uh, you're giving them uh, something pretty amazing, and yet it doesn't cost you much at all. So I do like gardening. I also breed roses, but that's beyond what you're going to want to do. Um, and uh, so I like gardening. I even like weeding. It feels very constructive. It feels something you're, you're seeing the concrete results of your efforts. Uh, I like pruning, getting things down to size. It's just something that I enjoy doing as a solo activity. Um, I, one of my other favorite recreations is playing the piano. Um, I don't like to play for myself. I'm bored with myself, but I do like to play for people. So I invite people to my home for private concerts. I'm not saying you should do that. I'm just saying that's something I enjoy doing. Even one-on-one, -on -one, um, I enjoy doing that. Uh, other recreations, of course, is uh, making YouTube videos like this. This is a got, has no um, benefit other than the feeling altruistic, and maybe I'm offering some benefit to, to the folks who are watching this. Um, and it's no effort. You know, I sit here in front of my computer, where I spend most of my time anyway, and uh, with my little old webcam and uh, the, the blue microphone that I attach, um, I'm able, you know, either scripted, in, in, which I do when I'm... Uh, when I've written a Psychology Today article about it, or in this case, I'm merely extemporizing, which is merely just talking to you, which I find fun. But I'm not social. And the same true my radio program. People think that, you know, if you're on the radio and it's a call-in show, that you have to be social. No. You're really, you know, you're in control of the situation. It's not like in, in the real world. I'm not great at parties. I feel like uh, I'm just not very likable. <clears throat> I'm too intense. I'm too a know-it-all. But in this venue, in this context, I'm able to be a bit of a know-it-all. So I'm using my best attributes, thinking on my feet, and liking to share share ideas um, in a, an acceptable way. And because it's a, hobby, it's a hobby, I have no censors, no publication saying you can't say that, uh, or telling me how to write, or whatever, which, I can, which is the case in, in my books. I believe I write very well, but they, you know, everybody feels they've got to get their two cents in. Um, what else do I do? I like to take hikes with my dog. It's a really relaxing thing to do, and I also I bring a little memo pad with me, and uh, uh, while I'm hiking and uh, uh, getting my exercise and the dog is getting his exercise and gets to go to the bathroom, um, I'm bringing usually uh, uh, some kind of a work problem to think about and I make notes in my uh, in my memo pad, including, you know, what is going to be the next video I want to make for you. Uh, I also uh, sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm going to think about it. I say, okay, I'm, um, what else? Um, well, you get that point. Okay. Any other recreations that I like to talk about? I like to... Um, I like to read, but I'm finding novels... I, I went through a phase of novels, of essays, of uh, magazine articles, etc. I'm not sure any of this is useful to you. So I think, you know, I've learned over the, you know, and I've made a number of these videos that when what comes, when I reach kind of the end of top of mind, it's time to shut up and not try to force it. So I'll simply stop there and say those are my few of my favorite solo recreations. And um, 
I hope they're at all helpful as usual. Feel free, as you can see down below, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you see it appropriate. There's also a share button so you can share it on social media if you're so inclined. But in any event, I do uh, thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.